Welcome to Earth Juice. Coming up this week, an ancient monkey fossil, mysterious oarfish, how did the chicken lose its penis, and Asian cats threatened by a dog virus. An international team of researchers have announced the discovery of the world's oldest known primate skeleton fossil, found in central China's Hubei province. The fossil has been named Archicebus, which roughly translates as ancient monkey. And at 55 million years old, it represents the earliest known member of the broad group of animals, which includes us humans. And it also gives us a valuable insight into what the earliest primates to walk the earth may have looked like. The team put Archicebus on the tarsier branch of the evolutionary tree, and it shares many similarities with that modern primate. It's very small at just 71 millimeters long and 20 to 30 grams in weight. It has huge eyes and small pointed teeth, perfect for hunting insects, and shares skeletal features which suggest it hunted in a similar way, with a jump and grab technique. However, one striking difference is in the shape of the heel bone. Instead of being like that of a tarsia, the Archicebus heel bone is shaped much more like we would expect in a human, a monkey, or an ape. This helps to explain the divergence of the primate evolutionary tree at its very root. Earlier this week, I caught up with Mark Benfield from Louisiana State University about a paper he's recently published on some amazing and incredibly rare oarfish footage. Mark, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, can you just explain, first of all, exactly what an oarfish is? Well, oarfish are the longest bony fish in the world. Uh, they are cruelly known because they live out beyond the edge of the continental shelf in the open ocean and are believed to inhabit uh, the open ocean between the surface and about a thousand meters depth. Tell us about this footage then. Um, it, it's some of the first footage of oarfish in the natural environment. Just how did you go about doing it? The way that we got this footage is uh, through a project called Serpent. So the idea behind Serpent is that we work with the oil and gas industry and we use their remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, to explore the deep sea. And we were finishing a survey uh, out in the Gulf of Mexico and recovering the ROV and uh, came across this oarfish. And uh, so we had the opportunity to follow it and we got this 10 minutes of just really spectacular video. Um, that allowed us to, to learn several things about the oarfish. This particular one had an ectoparasite, a small crustacean, an isopod that is a relative of the roly-poly that might live in your backyard. And uh, that was on one of the dorsal fin rays. And then we got some really close-up footage of the fins and the way this animal swims. Um, and that was really spectacular. But over time, we've been able to build up a small picture of what their vertical distribution is. We've learned about their swimming behavior. We've learned that they can be susceptible to uh, external parasites. And, and uh, we got some really fantastic footage that is being shared around the world now and, and I think it's really captivating people about the oarfish and, and about the deep sea in general. Well absolutely you've captivated us all here and um, thank you for sharing it with the world. Sure, it was my pleasure. Just three percent of male birds have a penis despite the fact that all avian species reproduce through internal fertilization. Male ducks are perhaps the lucky ones with a bizarre corkscrew shaped penis which they can protrude on cue and which can measure up to half of the length of their body. Male chickens on the other hand only have what is known as a rudimentary phallic nub and have to pump their sperm into the females using a cloacal kiss. A team from Florida University undertook a study to find out why these birds differed so much. To do that, they cut tiny windows into the eggs of chickens and other birds. Then they used a microscope to spy on the embryo as it developed. They observed that initially the chickens begin to grow a penis similar to that of ducks, but that on around the ninth day of development, the nascent chicken penis stops growing and begins to shrink. They identified a protein which is released during the early stages of avian embryonic development, which kills off the partially formed penis. Scientists are still puzzled as to exactly why this has evolved in chickens, but suggest that it may have been to make mating a more mutual affair. And finally, some of the world's rarest big cat species are facing a potentially deadly threat from a virus carried by domestic dogs. Canine distemper virus causes respiratory and neurological problems in tigers, and they're thought to catch a disease by eating infected dogs from the local villages. However, Dr. John Lewis, director of Wildlife Vets International, plans to work with Indonesian vets to develop a strategy to protect these rare tigers from the virus. That's this week's juice. For more information on all of those stories, check out the links in the description below.
Please remember to subscribe for more amazing animal videos and we'll see you soon on Earth Unplugged. Paleontologists from the University of Toronto have unveiled a new dinosaur, which they say is the oldest of its type in North America. Acrotholus ordeti was a member of the Pachycephalosaur family, herbivores with bony domed heads, 